Hey there, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness here in the WNWO NBC 24 Weather Center. Thank you so much for finding our web weather forecast. We're going to look at the radar and satellite picture. Yeah, some storms building up uh, well off to our south as that secondary push of cool air uh, pushes across the state of Ohio. Storms didn't really start firing up until they got along the I-71 corridor. Good news for us. Uh, we got some sunshine going through the day, but you can see the larger bank of clouds back to our left. Uh, back to our west that will be moving over us as we head into tonight and uh, there's a little bit of an upper level disturbance there. It will carry a chance for a few sprinkles overnight and into the first part of the day on Thursday. But beyond that, that really exceptionally cool and dry Canadian air will start to settle in. Look at the difference in temperatures underneath the cloud deck there. 80 in Toledo in the sunshine, but you get back to Chicago. They're at 63, 73 right now in Minneapolis breaking out into the sun. So you can see the impact this will have on our weather over the next several days. This air mass is exceptionally cool for this time of year, but hey, we'll take it after the heat we've had. Mostly cloudy, getting cooler here as we head through the overnight. We'll see numbers bottom out in the upper 50s, waking up on our Thursday morning. That outside chance for a sprinkle overnight and through the morning tomorrow, we stay in the cloud cover. But beyond that, we go back into the sunshine. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see high temperatures bottom or top out, I should say, in the lower 70s. Now, as we go through the next couple of days beyond that, very nice weather for Friday and Saturday. So your Independence Day looks very nice. Should be great for all the area fireworks displays all the way. Uh, some of them even having them as we go through tomorrow night. But Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night all look good. We start to bring some humidity back in overnight Saturday night into the day Sunday, and that will give us a chance for some isolated storms for the second half of the weekend. Not a total washout, a better chance for scattered storms as we head into Monday of next week. We get the temperatures back up into the upper 80s heading through Tuesday and Wednesday, but then another little cool down looks to be on, tra on track, I should say, for the end of next week. I'm Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness. Thanks again for watching today's web weather forecast.